Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve maximum depth of binary tree, leak code number 104. So we're given the root of a binary tree and we need to return its maximum depth, which is basically just its height. So a binary tree's maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. Okay, so for this example, the maximum depth or its height would be three because we get one for the root, two to go down here and three to go down here. So it's the maximum depth because you could go down this way to get two as in one, two, but you could go this way and get one, two, and three. So that's why the output here would be three. So we're going to use a depth first search for this. Most binary tree questions you would find you probably do want to do a DFS. It makes it really easy and elegant. So let's make some simple observations. Well, if you have a valid node, so just any node here, well, that is worth one because as we saw here, when we went here, it was one, here it's two, and here it's three, and here it's now four. So basically we're saying here that all of these, these are all worth ones here. So if you have a valid node, well, then that is worth one because it's very different than over here, which is just a none. This is null here. There's nothing here. And so this is worth zero. So if you make that conclusion, then that's basically half the battle already. The other part is basically forcing a maximum. Now take a look here. Say that this was our root. This thing's height is three. Why is that? Because he is one, this is one, and this is one. And so his height is three. Well, this thing over here, this has a height, but it's just one because he's getting nothing from over here. So for this guy, we want to know its maximum depth, but which would we prefer to use its left or to use its right? Well, we'd want the max of the two because this is bigger. And so we want the maximum depth. So let's kind of forget that we even have this here. Basically in general, the height or maximum depth is just one for itself because you get one for being a node. And then you want the max of the left and the right. This formula right here is going to be the height of any node here because take a look at this one what is its height well it should be one okay well it's one plus the max of its left and right these are worth zero these are not nodes they're worth zero so if its left and right are both zero it's one plus the max of zero and zero which is still zero and so this thing's height is one what is this thing's height? Well, it's one because he is a node himself. And then you have to add the max of the left and the right. Well, the right is one, the left is zero. His height is going to be one plus the max of the left and the right, which is gonna be the right of one. And so his height is two here, okay? So his height is two. Well, what is this thing's height? Well, it's gonna be the max of its left and right plus one. Its right is just gonna be one. And so its max of left and right is the left, which is two. We do one plus the two. And so we get three. This thing's height is three because it's itself plus the max of its left and its right. What is this thing's height? And that is actually the final answer here. That's what we want to know. Well, it's one for himself plus the max of its left and its right. Its left is three and its right is one. So we'd prefer the three. So his height is going to be one plus three, which equals four. As we can see here, that lined up with the original problem. And we have the height for every single node here. Notice that to get this thing's height, we needed to do all of the stuff in the left. And we also needed to do all of the stuff in the right. We would do a depth first search. So to figure out this thing's height, well, it needs to go on the left. And so to figure out this thing's height, he needs to go on the left. And to figure out this thing's height, he needs to go on the left. Great. It actually knows that its left is zero. So we go over here. This thing needs to know its height. It's zero from over here and zero from over here. So these are both zeros. And so he's just one for himself. And he'd report that back over here in the form of a return. This thing now knows that its right height is one. Now that it knows that it's one plus the max of these two values and so it can say to this guy over here up here that its height is two so we do this depth first search here where they all report back to the upper node or the parent node what their height is so that this node can make the decision of it's going to be one plus the max of its left and its right and so it would be one plus three which is equal to four so let's write the code for that so our base case here, if we're not a root, well, we have no height here. So this function is always gonna return the height of itself. Well, your height is zero. So we're not gonna add any more for that. But now that we are a valid root here, we know that we're an actual root if we're over here. And so how do we get our height? Well, our height is dependent on our left and our right because we want it to be return one plus the max of the left and the right. But we need to go get the left and the right. So over here, we are going to first say that the left value is equal 
equal to the recursive call. You have to do self because it's in a class, self dot max depth on the root dot left. Then if you call that on the root dot left, this thing will tell you the height of its left. So self dot max depth on the root dot right. To get our current roots height, we need to know the left height, which we get right here, and the right height, which we get right here. Now that it has that, well, our height is simply one plus the maximum of the left and the right. Okay, so the time complexity of this, it is going to be big O of n because we are visiting every single node in the tree and we're just doing constant work there. And the space complexity of this, this is a DFS, so it's going to use recursive call stack space going down. For every single node, we kind of go down here. It is keeping the call stack open for all of the nodes above. So that could go as far as the bottom, which is basically big O of h here. So where h is the height of the tree. If you wanted, you could write that as big O of n because technically the height is bounded by the number of nodes, but we are going to write that as big O of H. Drop a like if this was helpful, guys. I hope it was, and have a great day. Bye-bye.